Well, hello everyone. I had somebody ask me in a comment about uh, showing the video of how I made the pouch or the hammer holster and how I attached it to the bag. And the reason I hadn't posted it is I, the video was so terrible. Uh, I, I didn't realize where I, that I just wasn't paying attention that the camera was down too far and I didn't adjust it so you could really see what was going on. But I figured I would go ahead and post it because somebody asked and then if you can get anything out of it um you know that's great if not yeah um but anyway you can see a little bit of it i did get some of it in the frame of what i was doing um the the overall process i guess you can kind of figure it out but just thought i'd put it up here and then you can see if it uh something that might help you all right thanks Okay, so we're going to start out drilling a hole in our holster. And I have a 916ths, I believe, 916ths. And the other thing I have to be careful of is this ring here. I was trying to see if I could maybe incorporate that into the fastening, but it's big and it's yeah, I'm gonna have to try to go. It really is in a bad spot. I probably could. If I'm looking at it, probably could go through that and still would be secured from this end. And then pulling up here, I think I might have to do that. Just wanna make sure get this thing put exactly where I want it. Kind of scares me a little bit to be drilling holes through my Occidental bag here, but hey, things we do try to make life a little easier. So, Goes nothing. Let's give it a try. It's gonna go away. This thing I'm not too worried about. Like I said, it cost me just a little bit. Don't you know it always works out at the hardware store too? They didn't have the exact size I wanted. Well, they had one of them. One. <clears throat> Ball. One of my favorite tools. This one doing metal work. It's amazing to me how many guys come on a job site and don't know what that is. This one actually might be a little too... Ah, I have to go with a little bit bigger. Ah, there we go. We got through there. And these are aluminum. Let's see, and they're just... Uh, Instead of using rivets, uh, for right now, rivets are too permanent. Um, 
thought these would be the best bed as far as comfort and you know really rubbing because they're flat we'll see how well they secure i'm not sure just going to give it a try a little bit trial and error so what i'm going to do is do this and then wear the tool belt for a little while before i do the next video seeing what i think about it if it works or not we shall see Yeah, it's a little bit tough to get through that one. Ah, there we go. Nice. Those pop through. Come through the other way. That's actually the way they'll go through. I can't screw from the other side, so I'm just getting these popped in here. Just to be sure they're going to work. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. I'm not sure if I have this secured here, I'm still wondering about if I should pop one in here. I don't know. I'm gonna just leave it for now and then decide if I need it later to be easy to remove it. Try. All right, now for the scary part. through my accidental tool belt. Aye, aye. It doesn't work, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this hole now in my bag. I think what I'm gonna do is put the screw in and on that side. That way, if it for some reason goes loose, falls out, it should fall into the bag. I can't screw from that side. Come on, baby. See, and that's actually gonna be a little longer than I need. This is what I was talking about. I was a little, I didn't actually have the size I wanted. So I got some of these really small ones. I don't know if these will work, but maybe because if that works, that would be perfect.
now, see? It doesn't really come through much. But you do have this end screwing on. Super glue. Let's put around the edges. Uh, screwdriver here. All right. Well, See what happens. See in there, looks pretty good. Other than the little thing where I had to screw it, it looks like it was. Uh, looks like it came like that. Yeah. I never thought these very small ones would work, but oh yeah, that turned out all right. All right. See around back here. Now what I could do is we'll just to fly this out. See if we can grab that. Try to get it a little bit tighter, but I don't know. It's tough to grab. go you gotta be careful that's just aluminum so I got the aluminum uh, for obvious reasons you know what steel brass wouldn't fit in with the belt steel possibly rust on me So now we're gonna pop this next hole through. I did buy two sizes. I think this one we're gonna use the little bit bigger one. Pop it through here first. And the reason being is there's this little strap on the end here that pushes it out a little bit farther. Two both sides. There we go. Oh, we got it. I hope. Go ahead, this one. Come on, huh? Ah, there we go. Pop that through. Here, through our holster. That one's 
even a little short. Never fear. When you don't know how a project's gonna go, you always buy more than what you think you'll need and you always buy different sizes. They were only a dollar a piece. Ah, around a dollar. And I'm trying to remember what I stick in there. Pencil. Come on now. There we go. So we got her through. Put our little end cap on here. Oh boy. See now this one. Now see. I don't like it. I think it's too big. So I'll move that. I'm gonna keep this piece here. Go with the smaller one. This one, I think, will work just fine. Well, folks, this is what it looks like on the back, right up against there. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't mess with that yet. I want to see how it works. I just have my two. They look like, I can't remember the name of these things, but you know, they look like this. Just put them together in there. I think I get it, rivets too permanent, so there we go. Locked in. All right, next step is to put them on the belt and try them out for a little while. All right, we'll see how that's going to work. Light the camera up. All right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to put, report back some good news in a couple of weeks. Everything works out good and uh, looks all right. Might just have a good way of uh, wearing the old belt and the hammer on the tool belt. Ah, uh, looks brilliant to me. Thank you. Here's what it looks like from the back side. So I was thinking maybe I need to put something here connected to the bag so I can, you know, keep it steady from where, where at the at the angle I want it at. But for right now, I'm just not going to worry too much about that. Get some quite a bit of movement out of it there but i'm gonna see how it is and then maybe end up having to put something but the problem is you got to be careful because there's not much room for that i mean you have to put it at the angle so you can get that screw right between these the stitching here you don't want to put it into one of the pockets there so you'd have to angle it about right there put that through right up there and then that is that going to inhibit? Well, you maybe just do one. Leave this flap open. Leave this flap open in case for your hammer. Just take this flap and secure it right there. That's a possibility. Yeah. Maybe in the future. But for right now, I'm very happy with the way that turned out. Like I said, it's about 10 bucks. Job done. 10 bucks in about 20 minutes of time.